Rundown. We are live from Scottsdale. It's Friday before the Final Four. Um, do we have any ad reads? Over here. Okay. High Noon El Prez back here featuring the top four High Noon Vodka Seltzer flavors ranked by me. And that's passion fruit, pineapple, pear, tangerine. I love all made with vodka. Real vodka, real juice. 12 pack only here for a limited time, so get it while you can. Uh, it's the pack with my face on it. It's the four best flavors. I picked them. Uh, scan the QR code and a mini me pops up. So visit highnewspirits.com to find the El Prez pack nearest you. Uh, all right. Do we have more? Is that it? That's it. All right. Now, there's a bunch of subjects. So I don't have it. We'll get into the final four later. Well, yeah, we'll go in the order I wrote them down. We're going to start with Bronny declaring for the NBA. I mean, it's funny. It's crazy. It's crazy. But While it's also entering the portal. Also, RG3, both. who I like with one of the worst. I mean, he just does dumb tweets just to do dumb tweets. He's like, watching LeBron and Bronny run uh, fast break in, in the NBA is going to be like a movie. It's not I thought you were going to say a different RG3 was like, and his wife were like fucking on Twitter. Oh, yeah, so he's very horny on Twitter. Fucking so weird. Yeah, what is it? Seeing LeBron and Bronny running the fast break together on Lakers would be must-watch TV. Is he talking about Summer League? What? It's not guaranteed they well, play together. Well, no shit, Rico. Yeah, of course it would be. But, but, but they... It actually would be. Yeah, it actually is because he's not going to get drafted. Or okay. he'd just get drafted so... In LeBron, the second round, yeah. So LeBron goes to whatever team right. he gets because it's bad. Well, no, I think he's he's not an NBA player, so he can just... Like, the Lakers would just draft him with their last pick. Yeah, or you don't... And he was like a first round. Yeah, you don't have to draft. The draft. Yeah, yeah, like played sign. his way out of the draft. Obviously, yeah. he had his, you know. Oh, he was terrible. Draft. But it, it also is very LeBron, who's had his whole speech. I don't want to put too much pressure on him. And then yeah. He's going to do it. Uh, the RG3 thing, sidetrack. Can we get what? Did yeah, he was fucking lot? his wife. Yeah, that was, he does. He gets really horny online. It was so fucking weird. Drop your celebrity, Drop your celebrity crush. crush out of the blue. He puts his wife, and his wife is the things I would do to this man. Like, what, what do you mean you would do? You, you, you're married. You're married. You, marry you, you can do whatever you, you want. Go get a rum. It's a nice suit, though. I like that suit. I actually think he's a good dresser. Um, weird hats, though. He's a good, he's a he's a nice guy. He's a weird guy. I like him, yeah. but he's a weird guy. He is somebody I think you at times you're like he gets the internet. He gets like what put, and then he does something and it goes over. It's like he may not get it. He yeah. always, for me, is like, does he get it? Does he not get it? Yeah, like I got into it with him about Caleb Williams, and I like quote tweeted it with just yeah, facts. I remember that. And then he was like, look at you crying, and I'm like, what? Yeah, yeah. Everyone's yeah, yeah. like, dude, what are you talking about? He just he literally responded to you with facts. Yeah. Um. So that's one, two. Were you there for the earthquake today? No. Well, no, no I don't I heard about anymore. it. Correct. You live in Chicago. Yeah. Heard about it. I'm. But you would have loved to. Can I say something that did? I hope. I think nothing bad happened. I was I very jealous. So. I've well, never been in Earth. He 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 loved to be in Staten Island. Oh yeah, like, just being like you, talk to my guys at the station. Yeah, like I run around. Everyone's okay. Threat level, but unfortunately, it, Rico is here hobnobbing with uh, coaches. Well, now while his family's got to fend for themselves. <laughs> That's pretty sad. And I have this on the list, and now we're here. Hobnobbing the pump party. He's all, yeah. What happened last? Which time? you've talked about, right? Like forever. I've never heard of it, but you you always talk pump party, pump party, pump party. So I'm walking. You literally fly. You 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 didn't do your job on Thursday. You came early to to come here. And Austin said he saw you checking in. It looked like you didn't even go to sleep. A pump party. No, I was. I came in at like nine o'clock because I also didn't know like whatever. You, well, but where did you sleep last night? I crashed at somebody's uh, room. Crashed in somebody's room. What? In Tempe. At the pump party? Like no, a friend. Yeah, a friend of mine. We from the pump party? Yeah, we where, knew we were both where going. Coach is he? And I was like, I moved up. Where's the he coach? Uh, LaSalle. Okay. So the pump party is the something best. that I don't know what that is. Like you, well, when you go to the Super Bowl, it's like, do you want to go to the Sports Illustrated party, the Maxim party, fanatics, or these big parties? I, I didn't even know I had parties for the Final Four, except this guy, pump party. You going to the pump party? You want me to get you into the pump He's gotta party? got to talk to all those guys. I have a question, too, about the pump party. So I'm walking to my hotel room, and a guy— Pump Brothers coaching party, April 3rd. They got all the pictures. So a guy taps me. He's like, hey, I'm— It was David Dana, Pump. Dana, David and Dana Pump. Dana Pump. Legends. He's like, I'm Dana Pump. You want to come to the pump. pump party? And I was like, I'm not a big party guy. I didn't even register what he was talking about. He's like— all the coaches are going to be there. And when he said that, I'm like, oh, the pump party. <laughs> yeah. So I took the phone out. I'm like, do you know who Rico Bosco is? 
He's like, no. And when I say this guy was begging me to come to the pump party. <laughs> he was. He literally was like, please come. Just so it means so much for five minutes. Like, I don't know. I got busy as doing pizza. I wanted to just kind of harass you. But like, what? It's just coaches. Yeah. It's a, it's, it's like, yeah, it's, it's coaches. It's a party for coaches. Sounds like the worst thing. No, it's a lot of fun. When I have a you question. You put meetings, you put names with faces. I have a question. Who, who, so did you get new numbers? Because uh, that's, I think, Rico walks around and he just asks for people's phone numbers. Yeah, we got Like, he, do, he doesn't few. party. He just goes and he's like, if he has a five-minute conversation, connect. he's like, let me have your number. What? It wasn't as many numbers this year as it was more connecting. Like, so who'd some you of my connect guys with? Trying to get who? How'd you get in? This guy what? again. The the pump guy had absolutely one of the no one idea of the, who you so are. I know, but does you? everyone know Michael Rubin who was at the party? Does yes. Michael Rubin know yeah, 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 every yeah, person yeah, at yeah, the party? Yeah, yeah. All right. No, so I was. I know guys who know the pumps. I was going to get introduced. No, to the actually, pumps. that he does when he has he does his Fourth of July. He knows right. every hundred percent. I couldn't bring in. Yeah, a third he person. knows literally uh, every single right. person. To answer your question. Yeah, I wanted to meet him. Why? What? Why? Just because they run the party. I mean, it's another like it's a good connection. Because then he can get an invite for the rest of his life. So yeah. all right. So what happens? What? At the, you just coach he just them. talks to he coaches. So in. what new coaches? Are there you women get? there? No. What? Yeah, there's women there, but it's mostly guys. It honestly sounded like the worst party. And no offense to Dana Pump, he brings over this guy, Mamadou, who's a hundred <laughs> feet tall. Uh, he put his hands around his peaches. But and then Mamadou's texting me, you come into the party, it's like. How did Mamadou I'm, get your number? From Pump. Pump, hard, pump gave you a number? Hard, pump hardballed me, got my number, and oh, texted okay. me, and gave me tickets. I blocked Mamadou. <laughs> Wait, so I got a question. So, so I understand what it, it is time. for everyone more else. For the Pump party, it's like guys, coaches, you know, why would whatever. Let I loose a little bit. I don't know, but they've just been in season I, for him 12 months. Up, he just walks around being like, oh, that set you ran in, like, non-con <laughs> play. So you're just annoying people there. No, pe I mean, you get connected with different people. They introduce you. Know what, is, what is the point of you? Like, There is no point. If, it's if just coaches are like, maybe you meet coaches, you know, there's all this movement in college basketball, you know. You, you, are you trying to get a job on a staff? Yes. No. Yes. No. Why would yes. I want to get a job on a staff? Because that's your dream. Because your, your time here is always has, probably has an expiration date. You'll do something. That's going to cause a lot of lost sleep tonight. That one comment. We're yeah. doing pick'em now. That was. When you said you win, you lose. That. He didn't mean well, that. Well, I, I, when you that. win, you lose. Oh, the expiration? Yeah, he didn't mean well, that. Well, no. When you win, you lose. Well, I'm always going to do you, something. You're like I've spoiled been milk. He didn't mean to say you were I've spoiled I've been behaving. Milk. Well, yeah, I don't like you get too much praise well, when you sleep. do a little thing. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> looking for praise. I'm not looking for praise. It, 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 who was it? Uh, oh, Billy Football. Being like, now I see why yeah, he's yeah, such yeah. a great guy. Yeah. Well, he, he, uh, I didn't ask for that. I'm not, wife. But the change is noticeable. I didn't uh, ask that. Oh, no, no, don't touch her, Rico. She didn't she want, she like you. Truly right. God's ambassador to dogs. It's, and people coming up, they're like, uh, we got a dog because of Miss Peaches. Rescue, uh, people at the rescues, like three times a day, people come in like, give me a Miss Peaches. It's crazy. Uh, all right, anyway. I, so I have a question about the pump party, specific yeah. question. So, Dave, I don't know if you know, Danny Sprinkle, the guy who was at Utah State. The most self-serving coach I've ever, ever seen. Ever, ever. What do you mean? When, when, when they did, when they, before they played that Utah State game, and yes. I meant to say, his package... He he was already like hey, Miss Peaches. He was basically like already saying I'm using these guys as a stepping stone. Yes. He didn't mention the team. It was all about his his wife or his mother, like he's not married. Whatever. Then it was his family being yeah. like you know the next step. He's just the sky's the limit. Unfortunately, yeah. the media wants to put Unfortunately, the media wants to put guys in the next her. spot. You're scaring her. Do you not remember the last time when, okay. when Roy Williams had to answer the question okay, in Kansas? So, so and he said, I know someone's well, in your ear, but that's actually, bullshit. He was a really, really good coach. So Sprinkles, Sprinkle. unbelievable. He went from Montana State to Washington in okay, 14 so months. Here's, guys, here's what I do. Here's the question I have. Here's the question I have. So, Dave, he's been riding so hard. He's had he's had Danny Sprinkles cock he, he, in his mouth. Literally the most self-serving yeah. package I've ever seen and, on the and coast. Rico, Before they even out of the tournament. But Rico has been talking about this guy and, like, riding so hard for this guy. He's number two behind Nate Oates. Rico tweeted something before the pump party that made me very interested. He said, hopefully I get to meet Danny Sprinkle. Well, no, no. When did I say that? What did you say? Did you not? Did you meet him? Have you met him? Yeah, I've met him. When? Last year. Okay, who else were you trying to meet? Which one? What did I? What are you talking you about? You said something about Danny Sprinkle. Who, who are you trying to meet? Maybe I got it wrong. You probably I'll did hand get up. it wrong. So you know him personally? Yes. Keep going. I didn't say that. 
All right. This is going to be a very, very, no, no. Why you just click, click on, oh, it's all possible. All right. No. Maybe click replies? No. No, it's fine. It was I was pick. wrong. I'll hand up. I was wrong. I'll say I'm what I'm wrong. Met him. Yeah, I met him last oh, year. Oh, look, Enrico's already getting guys to go That's to Washington. Why. No, wait. Go up. No, no, no. Go no. to Washington. No, 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 no. That right. wasn't it. No. What do you mean? I met him last year. over it. You're wearing. I got a bad pair. There's something in here that's like. All right, so I was wrong on that foot. part. You had met Danny I love Sprinkle? Them, but they're digging. Yeah, I met him last year. How long had you met him? What? Last year at like, the final four. Did you meet him for a while or you just said Yeah, we hung out the whole night. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, you have like the cheaper version. All right, hand up. I was wrong on yeah. that. I thought you had yeah, not yeah, met whatever. Danny Sprinkle. I needed him for the week. So who, give me some names. What do you mean you got? needed him for the week? I wanted a nice pair of white kicks for the weekend. Picked them up right before. Give me some names of who you got. Uh, I was hanging out. So Bruce Pearl. Okay. Yeah, very good line. Uh, what was his line? Frank Martin walked in. What was his line? So I saw Tony Finau in a sporting goods store. The golfer. Yeah, nice guy. Real nice guy. Here is my point. Even... Sometimes when you win, you lose. Dan, great bet. Ten grand to win 150 grand. I have 600 to win 2.7. To to, to uh, the most I've ever won a bet to million. Right. This would be the most I'd ever to I've win won in a bet. Two million dollars. I know. And I actually have another. I had 50 left on an account that I don't use anymore, and I I put that on it too. So it's a little more. For you to root for a fake friend, over. Th- almost $3 That's, million. Dollars. And also, All right, so how the, many presidencies? Three. He's now, not. Four? Probably four. This guy, you ride right, so with this guy because you want to be his son. Right, so fine. All right. He All right. would, I'll he root would for you. do you understand? I'll root for UConn. No, okay. no, no. I don't want you to. You want that for, on there? I don't I want I don't want It would be inauthentic to not root for Alabama. I said it from day one. No, no, but I want to ask you a question. Do you think that if if NATO NATO showed up to your door tomorrow and had a fucking gun in his hand and was like, I'm hiding this gun, he would fucking make you take it. Oh, my God. He he 100% would pin a murder on you. Absolutely. You are his fall guy. He's just I believe in people. There's a story no, that you came. Don't. All what, your what people are no, the worst you, people. You went on one boat ride. That's all you care about. He's not your friend. He's you don't believe basketball. in people. You believe in people who give you attention. Okay. Is that not tomato tomato? <laughs> it's not tomato tomato. That's no, not nobody tomato. is giving you more attention than the guy to your left and right in this room. That's true. Okay, that's so what do you want me to do? Abandon this point, like dude. where I've built like for three years. I you haven't built anything. This guy would run you over. All right. he, I believe in them. You've been I said dead they're going to win the title. Dan's like, you can't coach. You can't do this. You can't do that. Can't do I, again, I'm like, they're going to win the title. I want on the record that I had Nito. You said no one cares about Alabama. I care about Alabama. What about this guy, Musselman? I had, oh, he threw him he's to the fucking, he threw him to the side so fast. I never hear you talk about this guy. Threw him to the side so fast. He's a friend. No, he's not. You threw him to the side. He Rico, Rico. I, he's now changing history, too, because we had Nate Oates on PMT. I actually think he's a very good coach. The way he handled the situation last year and more, not even that, but the fact that he, like, thinks that this is a good guy, I can't, I can't trust him. All right. Bad guys attract bad at guys. <laughs> Who's the bad guy? Who's the bad guy? You yeah, and Nate Oates. Three days. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So, you, but you do get, like, we're being, oh, run We've down. known you for a long You've time. You've known me for a run down. Two point one million dollars. Okay. So what? Well, I'm just you asking. You want me to just abandon just what I've done all I'm season no. and but for the last no, three no, no, years? No, no, This isn't like you want me to just simp for no, you. I want you to run for Bama, but no, no, you no, understand no, Dave's I, I question. You, but you, yes, like, I get it, man. Like, you have a lot of money. I wish they have crossed. No, no, they didn't no, cross no, no, but it's like no, it's you, I've seen how easily you abandon, let's say Duke. Yeah. Like you don't actually care. No, he does. He cares about Nate Oates. He, he does not care about himself. Alabama basketball. He cares about himself. He wants to be the bell of the ball, and he wants That's credit. It. He's like, yes. I get credit. Right. It's like, oh, oh, oh. But you don't actually. Nate Oates doesn't like you, okay. and you don't care about like you care. Thirty-seven about yourself. second phone call you were bragging about. <laughs> I wasn't bragging. Thirty-seven about shit, you second phone. Fo- you, would you ever brag Guys about a thirty-seven worst. second phone call? That's the worst. Why? Why did you talk to him? He had a thirty-seven second when? phone call. When? Uh, like before the, the Sweet 16. Sixteen. Have you talked to him since you've been here? Uh, I texted him the other day. No, I was. Has he responded? Yeah. What did he say? Well, they, they gave close practice yesterday. I was trying to get into that. What did he say? So you he can't get into no? close no, practice? No, because it's, it's everybody's closed off. That's good. No, that's you're not a part true. of the family. That's, that's not thing. true. That's a good. That's thing. not that's true not at all. That's a good thing. When Michigan was in the national championship, they closed practice. You Shmurra got more calls. Right. Like you want so I'm not on your practice. level. I'm not on your. But I don't even. I don't even. I'm not friends with Shamar Moore. I'm not on your level. But I'm not friends with you. You're best friends with this guy. 
You say that. I you say, you say that. I do not say I'm best friends with him. I have never said I'm best friends That's with him. So you have lie. said that when you pin me against it. And you're like, yeah, you're best friends with him. You can't get him on that. Do this, do this. Say so we're friends. I believe in the guy. I think he's going to cut down the nets. I've been gambling a long time. This would be by far right. my biggest win. So what do you want me to do? Nothing. You make the decisions. Okay. It's an optional practice. All right, I'll just simp for you. It's an optional practice. You don't no, I don't want up. you to simp for you, Con. All right, I'll just I don't want for you. I want you to do what you think's right in your heart. He already has decided that. You're going to hate He's me a new way. No, that may be a fair point. So, okay, so. I won't hate you. I just, well, I, just, I just won't like you, but that's no different. Right. So right. I'm back at square I one. I never have hated you. I, 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 I didn't hate you. I had apathy. Right. Yeah, so you now, would, now you would hate? No, I, I don't, I just, it, I, you don't seem He's asking to be a simple question remotely over. concerned about the atmosphere we're going to be in. Like, I can't control what $2 million Dave does. <laughs> like, that is so, like, if you're going crazy and this game is tight and there's $2 million bucks in the line, actually close to three, a three swing, I, I, I can't be held responsible for anything that happens. Yeah, so it's, I do think it's going to be an inhospitable environment the only thing i ask is before and after we shake hands no that i can't no. guarantee that's my point i also wa i want to say I, i'll back up rico that's the fact sport. that i want him to lean into it i'm fine with him leaning into it i just more than my what i've been saying from the beginning this job. is alabama fans what like they have <laughs> you i when we get into the octagon that sweet i don't know what's gonna happen I didn't see that coming. You're going to have to put me on the no-show thing you talked about. Well, no. I mean, the only way that I could keep you afloat is if UConn wins the national title. Okay. Well, so now you're in a real problem. <laughs> the only, right. time, only way I'll have the... the like, like, I'm just the thinking. Extra, what The, the no-show job would have to... The winnings of UConn would have to give you the no-show job. What happens if there's a close game and, like, Bama hits it? And, by the way, I'm not convinced. I don't know your confidence level. I, I think UConn is going to have a scare. I don't oh, know Oh, yeah, when. no, I think Bama's good. I, I don't think Rico's analysis of this game is fucking garbage. Like, his, like, they're going to run him out of the gym. No, no I am I worried about, so stupid. I'm worried about the sleep. Like, if they want to speed up UConn, that is the dumbest strategy ever. No, we have to UConn play defense. has the most efficient yes, offense. Yes, we have to play defense. The sleep thing worries me. I, uh, I'm i just worried that this game comes down to the last 30 seconds. You hit a shot. I lose $3 million, You'll celebrate. And that could be I would walk, bye -bye. I would walk outside. That could be bye-bye to Rico. I'm not going to hold it against you, Rico, because I want I you to go all in. I just want it clear, as always, what I've said from the beginning. Alabama fans need to realize when they're like, yes, Bosco, roll tide. If Nate Oates took the Sacramento Kings job tomorrow, we're Rico in, Bosco would not purple. give a fuck about Alabama basketball. I would hope so Alabama made the tournament, but no, I would not be living and dying. He's a mercenary. He doesn't yes. give a fuck about Alabama basketball. He doesn't care about the team. Some guys root for players, I root for coaches. He doesn't care I believe about in people. That. I believe he in cares people. about just the coach so he can say he but was your right. People haven't, your people haven't exactly had like, what do you mean? Pat Kelsey went from Charleston to Louisville. Well, Danny Brian Springer went from my, what? He'll be back. He'll be fine. This guy, this guy. Yeah, yeah Jared Grosso. That you, you were, you were talking about Jared Grosso like he was the next John Wooden. He'll be fine. And he's not coaching. He'll be fine. <laughs> he's out of coaching. And, yeah. <laughs> he, he, yeah. He took, he took a lead. The, so, he took a lead. So how do his, I, the cop came up to his uh, his house because he was going to get arrested. And he was like, you want to shoot some hoops? You know who what I if am? he had a rising 10th grade son? You don't know. It's recruiting. But, Bosco, for you to be like, I, I root for a people. I pick great people. You, you pick the guy because of scandal who's out of the whole game. I picked him before that, but he'll be back. All right, that's my whole point. You he'll picked be him right. before that. This other guy, Nate Oates, he wins and they're turning blind. He didn't, he's not exactly Mr. Stellar. He's got guys, you know, with, with murder raps last year. Whatever. I, I I hope I just hope. I just I now. I'm not. I, I didn't know what was on the table. So oh. maybe that's what you guys hey, are talking hey, about. Hey, I'm not gonna. I don't. It's gonna cost I'm me my job. Judge so, you. All right. No, no. I, I'm not saying it would definitely. Well, I'm saying I don't know. <laughs> like you, you could physically hit me. No, I would saying? never hit He's you. Never gonna hit I'm you. just saying. You said anything's on the table. I'm yeah. What's out? No, there. I've never. No, but I, I can get pretty heated during yeah, gambling I've seen moments. It. Well, this is. 10x anything that I've ever been involved yeah. in. And it's just me. Yeah. It's not And, even and like I, I don't have, like, I don't think there's a level you can't go to with you because you've already gone lower. 
So it's like, sure, it's a good point. like you don't. Some people is like, well, oh. you can't hurt me as much as I hurt myself. That is also a good point. That was good. You point, don't good know point. what the fuck that, that was. Good point. Good point. Yeah, yeah, that's true. No, that was good point. Good point. He's self sabotage guy. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm not Rico. I I've come Fair to grips. Point. I actually had a talk with Rico. What like two months ago, where I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna get upset about you just like. Sucking every coach's dick that looks at you, bats an eyelash at you, just lean into it. He's leaning into it. I'm fine with it. Yeah, but I, I, I know it's different for you, Dave, because it's two million dollars. I also I don't know why I you do think UConn's a better place. team. Well, because it's just, says, it's just when you have when sports are about rooting for your team, and when you have 17 teams, it diminishes what sports are. Okay. And I don't think you you I don't consider like Tomato, this isn't tomato. that's a that's a fact. Like if you had if you if you had had a two million dollar bet on Agreed. Alabama, I'd view it differently. Agreed. And by the way, if this was TJ rooting for Rutgers or yes. Yes, Quiggs so rooting for NC State, I get it. then right. I get how there's you're, annoyance. You're you're right. not really you're a fan, a right? I get and, how there's annoyance. You're a hired gun. I get it. And and of now, course, I didn't mean to say gun, but it does work it. for the yeah. analogy. It. it is it. of course. Ironic that these two teams, with everything yes, it happened, that's, that's Barstool. That's your deal with the devil. Perfect. Well, it could be your your deal I, with death. Dave, are you you're really worried about this? Guy? Yeah, yeah. Everything worries me. Now. I'm not as worried. We'll see what Nados. Nados has to coach the game of his life. We got to play Rico's, the game of his life. Everything Rico's trying to tell him is wrong. When he does the tweet, like they can't run with us. I would love. We're gonna, they're not. I would love for Alabama to try to run. It's not going to be a full on track. track. I, I just it's don't. UConn's uh, offense is the only three. The three losses that UConn has this year were all like sixty possession games. Yeah, it's not. So a track. It's slowing it down is the only way to beat UConn and then hitting all your threes. So, are, what's your plan here? Because you said we gotta you play run, defense. But no, no. But you're you're a high level coach. You're you're on the staff. I you're, would you're stay. Gonna, I you, would, you tweeted the other yeah, day they true. can't run with us. I would try to get Klingon at. You got to get away from Klingon. It's it's you can't be going in there and trying to battle clean. So I would so try to take three. I would take a lot of threes. That's what they do. I, I listen. I I just can't sit here. I haven't let my main process that they're. I'm just gonna steamroll my way to like winning two million dollars. I I there's got to be uh, something see, after me, they Dave, steamrolled last year. Dave, Dave to me, like I'm way. The I'm, I'm, out. I look, thought Illinois would be happen. in trouble. Anything can happen. I'm not saying Alabama obviously has like the volatility of hitting all their threes. They hit 60% from threes. There's nothing you can do. I think the other side of the bracket's scarier to me. Because Purdue is I don't very think. legit. Purdue is kicking ass and taking yeah, it. But I think and then if I NC State somehow Purdue. beats Purdue, it might just be destiny. Yeah, it but might just I, be like I, fucking I, I, really, I love I, I love I think Purdue the big Saturday guy clan well, is like the antidote to both those guys. I love Purdue. Saturday. Yeah, the problem is they just fucking Edie always just fucking gets on the free throw line. Yeah. Uh, all Good right, player. moving to the other so side. What, what are the keys to the game besides defense? You're a fucking high level coach. And you, yeah, all you can give me is level. defense. We have to defend. We That's, can't get stupid fouls. We have to limit arm these mistakes. These are the most basic things ever. You're at the but pump party. What You're talking to sprinkle. You're talking to This is to what host. has hurt us. So, what is the actual what game? What was the biggest name at the pump party? Uh, he pumps it tight with Cal Perry, but Cal Perry wasn't there. Some of his staff was there. That's one of your. So, all you would have sucked Cal Perry's. Yeah, that, that's a crazy. Well, well, who's the biggest name at the pump party? Well, his friends Cal Parry. Cal Parry wasn't there. Ralph Sampson was there. Okay. What he's is got it, a wild seventy-five. He's got a wild hairline. I don't remember when he <laughs> Ralph lost Sampson. Shot, Ralph Sampson Todd. walked right past. Yeah. Good but Cal Parry could have been there. Yeah, he's usually in with them. I went. I went. I went one and one. Well, actually, zero oh and two because one yeah, the other one. Well, Ralph answer. Sampson, I would say, biggest name. No wonder they really want me to go to the pump party. Uh, women's tonight, <laughs> Iowa, UConn, great game. And then you got South Carolina. I I'm excited to watch that Iowa game. That's another great game. Paige Buckets. I don't like R.E.M. I know you guys have had him on PMT, right? No? Yes. You have his kid? Yeah, I thought I you think had so. Him. Yeah, we have. We He's have. too arrogant for me the way he talks. Well, you know him and Calhoun hate each other, right? Yeah. I, uh, I, I don't know if the I The rumor anything. was that I think uh, – Calhoun put up a sign where it's like UConn basketball, like where the men are men, and Oriema put up a sign that was like uh, UConn where we hang back. He was trying to put it okay, back. Bad on. Story. They fucking uh, hate each other. The the Harley hinted at that on your podcast too. They hate each other. I'm aware. I was yeah. there. The yeah. oh, the part that I don't like Oriema <laughs> is he's I, he's kind of, just so arrogant. He's talking. I he almost did a a version to me of. I'm sorry, took him back at Ekafor because I yeah, guess. Yeah, no, he did with Caitlin Clark. Caitlin yeah. Clark wanted to go to UConn. And Paige same Becker's, dream. Yeah. He's like, sorry, I took Paige Becker. He's doing a lot of that. He's Couldn't like, what do you want me to say? Caitlin Clark's the best player in the country? Fine, I'll say it. It's not Paige. Like, I don't like any of it. 
Um, so again, I want to watch the Caitlin Clark show. I feel like Dan, you've tried to like convert yourself. I don't like it. No, I haven't. I've bet on her to score points, and she scores points. She's the best player in the history of women. I yep. think UConn's gonna win tonight. You're betting them? I I'm, I'm Two and I gotta half. look at it a little bit more. Uh, I was very impressed with UConn's strategy against Juju Watkins in their Elite Eight game, and LSU had no strategy for Caitlin Clark in that game. I think they're going to do a lot of stuff where they're going to basically make everyone else beat him except Caitlin. I don't know that you can do that when she's shooting from the logo. I know, but they were doing it with Juju Watkins. They were, they were bringing double teams. They were making the, getting the ball out of her hand. Like, I don't know. And I, I do think there is, like, a, a fun storyline here that Paige Beckers, like, if she didn't get injured, she would be on Caitlin Clark's level. Yep, possibly. So, like, there's a little bit of that yeah, yep. to it. UConn also, I think, has a shitload of injuries. Like, they had... Yeah, I, yeah, they showed their bench, and it was like half their roster yeah. is in uh, street clothes. Yeah, so the, maybe it's maybe it, maybe it's stupid to me, but I yeah, I kind of like UConn. The game I went to was amazing. That was I'm glad I went. Um, I haven't said this publicly. It was the most watched women's game. I don't think tonight will match the LSU Iowa game because it's a Friday versus a Monday night tougher TV night, and you have the built-in rivalry. I think I get like twenty percent. Of that? Of that viewership. Do you want to apologize to me for being wrong? Uh, about? About it being bigger than the the men's game? It was close, wasn't it? Well, that doesn't count when you it had a whole debate about which one was going to It was 12-5, it was 12-8, right? No, I think, I think NC State Duke was like 15 million. I thought it sort of average 12 million. 12 I don't know. I just, yeah. like, well, if we Duke have an argument 15, and then yeah. I'm right, you're I was wrong. Close. You can just I was say close. you're wrong. I'll say it was close. But you were wrong. Close. And that wasn't, I mean, you were wrong. I thought my argument was if they were in the final four. But, I mean, that, that, that's going to probably be the highest watched game, is it not? No, I think it will be. But if it was the finals, it probably would have been more. 6.2 million average for an Elite Eight. No, they had 12. Right. 6.2 average. What was the men's? What was NC State Duke? Pretty sure it was 15 million. I, I'm almost positive. The, 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 you, yeah, UConn USC drew 6.7. Right. Caitlin Clark, the Iowa. South Carolina, Oregon State, three million, and then yeah, fifteen point one four. So I mean that you were wrong. Yeah, fifteen. Well, I think I said final four. Well, I mean, but you were wrong. Well, but we can't judge the final four. They didn't play in the final. Okay, four. I'll I'll keep this. saying the final four. Okay. Well, no. No, we well, made this get... argument. We made this argument before the bracket came. we when the bracket had already come out, and we knew they couldn't play in the final four. Uh, I'll have to recheck my records. Okay. All right. Recheck All right. it. Not. I watched the whole game. I watched. Well, am I gonna? Are you gonna great. give me credit then for making it the most watched women's game of all time? Because I'll give you fifteen. I don't think 15%. if I did that tweet, that became quite viral. That be, that sparked this whole. Fifteen percent. I'll you. give you fifteen percent. Thank you. Um, off the top. What else we got? We got a couple non, non basketball. <laughs> he still doesn't know. No, non. Well, I I don't know. <laughs> I don't think you know what. Like I don't. I don't, well, you, I don't understand you, if I, I know, know what, what you asking. know. Yes, do I think tomorrow's going to be the like possibly the worst day of my life? Yeah. With the two of you together, like yeah. But I don't I'm know. not going to I'm I'm going to I'm going to root hard against you. I'm going to be a jerk inside the white line. I'm just going to do it against you after. I'm not going to turn anything extra. I'm going to do is what I, I do. Can't control what's going to Call them by first name. What names. are you wearing? Are you going to do the fucking this? Uh, yeah. Probably, so what you know, are we going to are we going to sit just nice like we're going to go Dave Rico me? I got to sit the three of us? I got a nice pair of pants. I got a polo. Are we going to do the three of us just one yeah. in a line? Oh, yeah. I, I want you in a suite. Yeah, I know. So we, we can around. move around, but yeah, we yeah, should yeah, just yeah. sit around. the yeah, I, oh, listen, yeah. Again, I'm just, my point is I can't, I don't know. I hope I'm, I hope I don't go over the line. Okay. But I may. Because <laughs> I yeah. have. We've said, though, that this company has habitual lines. I was yeah. just going to say this. I don't have you, the two. You, you are the last person that I'm yeah. going to be like, oh, I can't go there with them. Right, 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 right. I could stab you, and that's within play. And I, Rico, he's got... Dave's got uh, but two, that's fair. It's like, yeah. well, he deserved it. Two, that's a long time coming. Two million to, to win two just million. Just a quick one? Just like. I would take a quick one. And then cons two, would be like, yes. Two million. <laughs> a lot of people would say yes. A lot of a people. A lot of people would say yes. A lot of people. Across the internet. You know, it, it's like that. Yeah, well, people like Nadu. Yes. yes. Like the right. cowboy. Yes. yes. So many people would be like, finally. The real star. The, um, I, I'll just say this, Rico, so it's not. <laughs> He's still on the internet? It's not two. Dave has two million that he's trying to win. I'll say this: I'm, I'm, my, my bet is to win one hundred fifty thousand dollars. If I win this bet, 
uh, I would have had a very bad March Madness. Okay. Just to put it into perspective right, where I'm sitting right now. All right. It's also, I'm going to lose very, a shit ton. I would I have lose. a very yeah. bad March Madness. I've stopped. I I, I, I've been bad. I saw it. It's like, you know what? The only thing that matters is the UConn. Yeah. Yep. Like, that's all I'm doing. Uh, two quick videos that, that we get some feedback on. This Colorado bus driver is in trouble. Horrible. He he uh, fake. He, he braked the bus, an intentional bus brake going nine miles per hour. Show kids they weren't sitting. You say horrible? Yeah. Wait, how fast were they going? Nine. Show the video. You guys need to be in your seat. You guys want to see how dangerous that is? Oh, oh my God! Do you get that? That's why you need to be in your seat. here bouncing all over the place and I'm the substitute driver I was coming to a stop and I hit the brakes hard because they weren't they were not listening so I'm sorry if she got hurt he's telling us to sit down now I have here's 60 kids on the bus he's getting fired people are going crazy you got to control them you, you just don't drive if they're not listening you wait you I have no problem with the bus brake but I felt like the kids were sitting to begin with that too seemed like he was overreacting but it's only nine miles per hour. They didn't like they show the kids. They didn't like go that crazy here. here They're still little. Here's though. the video. Yeah, yeah those no, are little kids. And no man. one straps into a thing. You're gonna have. Like, I think they're sitting, so I don't. They see are. Yeah, sitting, they're not doing which, anything wrong. They're not doing anything wrong. Yeah, yeah, so this guy's an broke. asshole. It's a so dick. Bus broken. They're all sitting pretty nice. I said they were yeah. sitting. That's what is his problem. That's pretty bad. And then the girl calls him. He just hates kids. Yeah, he hates kids. Well, you can't be a bus driver. Like, I want not apply to be a bus driver. No. Because I knew I'd be bus breaking these kids all, yeah. uh, all day long. So you can't. So that's one. The other one, what should the punishment be for this? I think she's an old Miss or a Mississippi student. Old Miss. Who, old Miss. It looks like she's at a hotel, and they're getting ready to bring room service. So they line it up, getting ready to go to people's rooms, and she dances on the food. I think they took away <laughs> they the took video. It down. Oh, is it back? Wait, but what, what is this room service where they just leave it outside? I think that's probably the kitchen. You must be outside the kitchen. Oh, God. Yeah, Jim. You're the worst. And they're not going to tell anybody? And well, how laughing. dumb do you have to be to put that on the internet? Moronic. But that's what? There's a lot of dumb people on the internet. Yeah, th yeah I think you go to jail for that. So, yeah, or that that's one of those... So let's see what Chap said. I thought there was going to be a cat. Shirley Fu was all just hanging out in the hallway, even though it was the case. Blah, blah, blah. These folks are dealing... The front... He's just supporting them. Folks complain to the desk workers it takes longer than 10 minutes to get their precious trash the, out. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, this bullshit. is one of those situations that I, I, I don't think she should go to jail. I think we should just like do a contest like grossest toes in America, and then she just has to lick them. Jerry. Get Jerry involved. Yeah. Well, no, he does good toes. Yeah. Arch Madness. Does. Yeah. Uh, and then one other video I saw, which I found interesting. We got two more. It is Bram Walker and Robbie oh, are yeah. some WWE things. <laughs> And the Miz is this talking. This was to him. crazy. And the Miz is like talking about Clemmer, Clemmer being like, so, and he's rehashing it. So Clemmer just went and slept and he thought people would be. And then Dave made into something by shutting the stream off. And people at Miz is like, people are crying. Like, what's that problem? And Brandon Walker is sitting there being like, yeah, can you believe it? Can it you that believe was it? insane to watch. Did he ever respond to you? No. Clemmer. You know how to make the stupidest stuff. Yeah. News. Yeah. So someone's like, yeah, I'm just gonna seclude myself in a fucking room yeah. and I'm and I'm just gonna be there and yeah. that's gonna be that's gonna be content. Five days. Yeah. For five days. And then and then Dave gets a hold of it and says, shut this thing down, and then people are crying that wait, we wanna watch this? Like yeah. how do you make that make that a story? It was, like also, something? It was fucking terrible. Exactly. <laughs> Oh, but he made, Dave made it like yeah. something. Yeah. Like he was like, we're shutting this down, blah, blah, blah. And then people uproar, didn't tell the guy. Yeah. And the guy thinks he's still on. And all he's like, sleep. <laughs> that guy lived his whole life in solitary. The smartest person I ever heard in my life. Like he's like, hey, I got a, I got an idea for a job. <laughs> I'm going to be in solitary. I can tell my wife, my kids, whoever. Yeah. I'm just going to be here. I'm going to sleep all day. Yeah. What a job. 
It's like, I mean, he just pretended like he was like, yeah, it's crazy what they were doing. <laughs> yeah. He was like the leader of it. Walker Jesus. had social services on line <laughs> one. Insane. Uh. Just going along with it. Crazy. And then uh, I, I'm sure we, they talked about it a little bit yesterday, but the Billy football campaign. Oh, when he does he find out if he knows he has signatures? Uh, I think it's going to be a week or so. He did pretty good. He's also got a really big problem on his hands. So can you go to Billy's uh, website? Didn't he not file the paperwork? Billy's running on Billy's running on uh, a common sense platform. Platform. Yeah. Can you go to Jim Toe's website? This is the guy he's going to run against in the primary. I saw you haven't endorsed him yet either. No, because well, so Billy's running on common sense. Jim Toe's, he's running on hardcore <laughs> oh, no. common sense. <laughs> no. That's a problem. Oh no. I mean that's. <laughs> If I'm a common sense guy, Jim Toes is going hardcore. Common yeah, sense. That's 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 what does Billy got to do? Uh, he, if someone's going, he's got to go he's like gotta, mega go I mean, hardcore, yeah, gotta, like hard hardcore. Yes, he has. That, to this is the problem too. To. Is like it would be fun. I think Billy's, I, he's like genuinely wants to do this. He, I will say, he has the politician like. Did you see the, the look, the laugh? That, did you see the, the yeah. what I had Milmore make with his yes. little? And then I think some kind of word was like, "Stop talking politics." Go back to yeah. Billy's. Yeah, I know. Like, go to Billy's thing on the bottom. Oh, his his issues. He doesn't issues support the second amendment, stop inflation, fund the police. We like that. He doesn't secure um, the border, require voter ID, <laughs> bring federal funds back. You got to keep in mind this guy's balance the budget, secure the, as it gets, secure the border. This guy's by working lower out taxes. of hands. But yeah. it is crazy. Bring back jobs, generic. He also like I love that Billy's like Cut he used tape. to be better in America. He's 25. Yeah. yeah. Oh. So better is like 2015. Cut the red tape. But yeah, I, I, I'm, I, I would like to support Billy. I have to see Mental Jim Toes support. because hardcore common sense, like that seems like I, it's broken, like double secret market. probation. You know, double, <laughs> double hard, hardcore. I don't know sense. if Billy knew that he was getting hardcore common sense, but uh, it's. I want. I mean, I would love to see Billy win and then just go down. Like the, the best story arc is he somehow gets wins this whole thing, gets to Washington, and then has like a George Santos fall. Well. That's the crazy. This this is his district, right? Santos? I think so. So, at which shows you the state of politics. He's a thousand more qualified. Yeah, than no, the person that's. It's. it's yeah. I said that yesterday on uh, PMT. I was like, it's crazy that we're in a world where, like, I actually think Billy's a pretty good candidate. Yeah, it, it, and, and I know and, Billy very well. And yeah, he's, one. He's one of our biggest notorious liars, and we think that yeah. <laughs> Milmore made that. Yeah, <laughs> he's he's. Uh, yeah, I mean he's he he's perfect for it, and he's yeah he's got the politics speech. Even when they asked like, would you, do you Trump? support Trump? What an he answer! He was like, I would take his support. It's like, yeah, what? yeah, he can help canvas for me if he wants to. Yeah, crazy. The whole thing's great. I I don't think they're gonna let him on the ballot. That's my instinct. Uh, so Based on what I went. Through. We were talking about it yesterday because Hank obviously was in the Milton office when you were running for mayor in Boston, and that might be the issue that happens with Billy is he's got a lot of signatures, but does he have? Registered Republicans in that district. Correct, and it's and they'll just throw out as many as they have. And the X factor on top of that, you can disqualify just for just not being able to read the signature. Right. So I, he did it himself. I paid like a signature firm, like right. a professional one. We had like 10x the amount of signatures and didn't get on. Jeez. So that's what I think. I just want him in a debate so bad. I think if they sense it's a joke, like the they're just like we're not letting this. And guy that's out. the problem is it started as a joke, but he's taking it very seriously. Right. And I'm giving I, that's like he deserves credit for he. I think he even said this is the hardest he's ever worked in his life. I believe which that. is kind of a slap in everyone's face. Yeah, that, that that's one of those things with. like go get him, but at the same time like not really surprising. So. Right. Right. So I, yeah, I mean, him just being in a debate though would be so electric. Him this, going against Jim Toes, just going common sense versus common hardcore, hardcore common, common, sense. common sense. Hardcore common sense. How do you how do you beat hardcore common sense? Double hardcore common sense. <laughs> yeah, mega hardcore the, common yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. And they, they keep <laughs> updating back and forth. It's unbelievable. Right. So he, Billy's gonna give you so much common sense, you're gonna puke. It's also he's going up a just a tough name, Jimmy Toes. Yeah, Jim Toes. <laughs> All right, well, a lot of basketball lot this of basketball. weekend. We're going to be Barstool abuse. Live tomorrow. Yep. Barstool Live, hour. yep. No Mrs. Peaches for anybody. Guess I'm not taking to a bar. I know people are going to ask for that. I don't want people crying. So. And then and then it's game time. Game time, baby. Yep. And you're ready. Ready to go. Roll what are you going to wear? Nice pair of pants and a polo. Alabama polo. Do you think you're going to get, if you win, do you think you'll get invited to the locker room? I'll go down. You. What do you mean you'll go down? Credentials. 
but but you're a fanboy. Yeah, you're allowed in. But you're cheering with a credential. No, I wouldn't be cheering there. Was, you wouldn't be doing, yourself in the hallway. You wouldn't be cheering in the locker room. I'd be cheering in the suite, which is where it's allowed. But would you be if you went down after they won? You would I would be go smiling. Join yes. the, the the cheering. No. Because enough time would have passed, they would already have done the cheering, and then people would ask them questions. Oh, one last thing. I want. I just want on the record, Rico is, can never claim he's a Hurley guy. Yeah, right. We, That's a fact. All right, it's a fact. You can, the, the, This is like... We cross paths with Hurley. I got to dis... Okay, yeah, but you fine. can't... You he's can't, an unbelievable coach. It's unfortunate. He got Oates as a star in the business. It's unfortunate that this has happened to you, but you can't... Yeah, fine. You can't next year be like, I've always believed How did Hurley. you end up on the boat? What? We organized It was the trench mob. Yeah, it, that's crafted, the thing is Marty yeah. and, and Jake were on the boat too. They don't, they're not. Yeah, but they didn't get the number. They didn't set up the call, the interview. Like a crest. Something happened on that boat, Dave. I don't know what it is. You just but talk Something hoops. happened on that boat. You see a visionary. I'd like to see a 30 for 30 on that boat. There's something about that. Guy. What was said on that boat? What was done on that boat? Just talking threes. We're talking efficiency. Was there touching? No, you keep saying that. You're fucking. Well, crazy. it's not. The, I mean, it is odd that the, the boat one we boat ride. I've been on a boat. Then I watched the team win. Then I watched the team win. Where was the boat ride out of? Uh, Out of his house. Like just. And then onto the lake, yeah. In Alabama. Yeah. He just took you on the boat. They're going to win. Guys, he's two games away from the title. I said this from day one when we had him on. I was like, he's changing the game. But you say it a lot about about a lot of coaches. Yeah, he is changing the game. Something that you were very late to get (laughs) to. I was. I was. Because Rico, remember in 2016 when Rico said Villanova can't win the title because he shoots many threes? I did. Now he's Mr. Three. Yeah. Three is greater than two. Three is greater than two. All right. Well, go Huskies and go uh, Iowa women tonight.